Well, there's a lot of problems with opioids, all from brain effects. This okay. drug, Suzetrogene, targets nerves as they come into the nervous system, into the central nervous system, into your spinal cord, and decreases the signal. So the signal doesn't even get through. It doesn't even get up to the brain to have to be modulated. It slows it down at the sensory nerve level. It was on a quick path because it's a non-opioid, because they showed that it doesn't work in your brain, so it's not going to have a lot of the brain effects that other medications have. And they had amazing safety data, so really low side effects for serious side effects. Um, difficult to distinguish from placebo in terms of the side effects, which is pretty incredible. I think the exciting thing about this is this is the first medication that really fits what we've been looking for, which is to develop a non-opioid medication that works, works on pain and that really comes from the work of scientists in institutions like UW, where we're doing basic science research and then translational research that goes into to human models and then human research to see if it works in humans in specific conditions and then leading, leading to a product that people can use and, and be prescribed by their doctors. The drug's only approved for acute pain right now. So the first studies that led to them applying for a, you know, new drug status and in, in a, to the market are based upon post-operative pain. And because they're for post-operative pain, it's only approved for 14 days. So acute pain, acute post-operative pain. I think the place that's going to be used more is for in the acute pain setting at present. I would bet that in a couple of years we could sit down and have this conversation and that either this medication or medication very much like this is now approved for some chronic pain conditions. But we're not there yet. One thing to remember with a new medication, it's only been given to not very many people. And some, it, we don't have the depth of experience we have with the other medications. So we don't know, like, ah, oh, the best patient is, has these characteristics, or we should probably avoid it if they have these characteristics. We, we don't know that quite yet.